Hello designers! Today I'm going to show you how to make a screen recording directly through Canvas Studio so that you guys can record your own Photopia or Pixlr E tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to begin using the actual assignment submission and then I'll show you how to do it directly through Canvas Studio if you wanted to do it on your own for another class for example. As far as my class assignment is concerned, you guys are being asked to take over and be the teacher and you guys will be creating your own video tutorial demonstrating one of the techniques that you've learned on Photopia or Pixlr E or if you are one of the few people with Photoshop access from home, you can select Photoshop as well. And you guys are going to select one of the techniques that I listed here, common things that we have gone over in the class, but you guys are going to create your own tutorial to show me your spin on it. Show me how you understand how to use these tools to achieve some kind of visual uh, result. And you guys can review these um, requirements further. Now, in order for you guys to create your own tutorial, you guys would need to click on submit assignment first. I know that seems a little bit like jumping the gun, but um, you guys are going to select submit assignment. And from there, you guys will see a text entry box. Now, obviously, you guys will not be typing anything in or uh, uploading anything to me. Instead, you guys are going to create the tutorial directly from Canvas Studio, which you can actually access within this text entry box. And I'll show you how to find it. First, first thing we got to do is look for these three dots. And then from the three dots, you'll be able to access more tools that are available to you within this um, rich content editor. But we're going to look for the icon that looks like this, like a little flag for a video and this opens up Canvas Studio. Now, I am in student mode and I had previously tested this so I created a demo tutorial already. For you guys, you will see a screen saying you don't have any tutorials because you probably haven't used this feature yet. So the first thing that we have to do is hit record at the top of my workspace here within Canvas Studio. And then you have two options. You can do a screen capture or a webcam capture. We're not gonna do a webcam capture because that would feature the camera uh, looking at your face and you would be talking directly to the camera. Instead, you guys are gonna be showing me how you're creating some kind of visual effect on Photopia or Pixlr. So we're gonna be doing a screen capture. This is similar to all my tutorials that you guys see on YouTube when I'm demonstrating something on um, Photoshop. So we're gonna select screen capture and we're gonna wait for that to load. There we go. Many of you will see a uh, window pop up telling you that you need to download the screen capture application. I already have it downloaded, which is why I see this kind of box around my screen, which is enabling me to create a screen capture within Canvas but many of you will not have downloaded this already. So you guys are going to need to select download and install this application to your computer. It is completely 100% free. You don't need to pay for it. Just make sure you guys click on the download box at the bottom of your browser and uh, install this application to your computer. You guys would just click yes and wait for it to install. I already have it installed, so I'm gonna select no. But once you have it installed, you guys will see this box show up around your screen. Now this box basically tells you you're ready to create your screen capture. So I'm gonna flip over to Photopia, which I already had open. And um, I already had resized the box. Typically it shows up a little bit smaller like this. So if it shows up small for you, you guys would just basically go and drag at the corners of the box so that you guys can go and fit it to whatever you want to record on your screen. So if you guys were doing a, um, a PowerPoint, for example, you would want to fit the box around the PowerPoint presentation in slide mode. Um, right now, I am using Photopia, so I'm just basically fitting the box around my workspace here in Photopia. And I'm purposefully excluding these ads because I don't necessarily want them to show up on my video tutorial. So from here, you would go to the top and select record. It might also be hiding at the bottom depending on how big your monitor is. So kind of look for that record button. And once you hit record, you will be seeing a... Um, 
a timeline, not a timeline, I'm sorry, a um, countdown telling you when you're about to start recording and you would start narrating the steps that you're going to be demonstrating in Photopia. So I'm actually going to take a minute and open up an image on Photopia before I show you how I would begin that demonstration. So let me actually um, minimize that screen record and maybe open up some kind of image to begin with on Photopia. I always suggest that you plan ahead, you practice these steps ahead of time before you begin screen recording just so that you sound a little bit more polished, more professional, and you know exactly what you're doing. You don't want to make a bunch of mistakes throughout your video tutorial and have to start over again. And I'm speaking from experience, you guys, so just dig my word on this. So let me see what images I have that I could use. Mm. So a lot of these have already been edited, but just select maybe this flower. It's not a real tutorial that I'm doing, it's just to show you guys how I would get started. All right, cool. So I expanded the screen record box and now I'm ready to hit record. So you take a deep breath and then you hit record and wait for the countdown. Now it's playing, right? So this is where I would start my demo. Good morning designers. Today I'm gonna show you how to use the black and white adjustment so you can instantly make an image black and white. There are several ways to use adjustments within Photopia and Photoshop if that's what you're using from home. Now my suggestion is that every time you're going to use some kind of uh, adjustment, you use it non-destructively so that you can edit your work at any point in time. Here's what I mean. Follow along as I go to the bottom of my layers panel, select the new adjustment fill icon and look for black and white. As you can see, that adjustment has instantly turned my image black and white. And because I work non-destructively, I have a layer which enables me to turn it off at any point in time if I'm unhappy with it. I also have a mask that allows me to go in and make edits to this image if I choose to. For example, I could use my brush tool and make sure I have black selected as my color and go in and start masking out the black and white within the body of the flower so I can reveal its original red color. Pause. So when I'm done with my tutorial or I feel like I did an excellent job, I went over each of the steps that I wanted to demonstrate. This is where I would go in to the top of my uh, screen record box and click on that pause button. And this is important. You guys are going to click done. Otherwise, if you hit record again, it's just going to start recording all over again. So click done if you're happy with what you did, you think you did an excellent job, and you go back to canvas, like I'm about to do. And it's showing me my screen recording, so I have a chance to title it, and I have a chance to add a description before I go and upload it to the assignment. So I'm going to call this one Photopia. Uh, adjustments demo obviously I don't need to tell you guys this but you're gonna select one of the techniques I listed for you and not do the exact same thing I started demonstrating on Photopia and then I might add some kind of brief description just to let me know what this is so maybe project for Miss Abaya and then upload now if you're not happy with it or you think oh, okay, I could do better you have the ability to go and redo it before you upload in fact let me go ahead and preview it before I click that green upload button all right it looks good so I think I'm ready to hit upload and I'm going to wait for that to uh, upload to 100%. Okay, it says the upload has been successful, so I'm going to click the continue button. And I should see the video pop up in my library. If you don't, 
you guys are just gonna go and click on those three bars and kind of refresh studio let's click studio again so that it loads that brand new video so this is the video i just created um, i would click select and then I have the option to embed it with the ability to add comments on it. This is, for example, if you were going to share it um, within a Canvas discussion and you wanted your peers to be able to add video comments, letting you know, you know, oh, you missed this part. Oh, you did an amazing job on this. But for now, I'm going to disable that because I'm not really interested in that option. And I'm going to click embed. And now you guys are going to see that the video is directly embedded into the text entry so that when you guys go and hit submit assignment, I will be able to see your submission. If you want to add a comment such as, I don't know, enjoy my video and click submit, then you should be able to see if you actually uh, successfully submitted the assignment. Yay! And that pretty much wraps it up for my assignment specifically. Now let's say you guys want to follow on your teacher's footsteps and start making some tutorials for YouTube, maybe showing what you've learned on Photopia or Pixlr or Photoshop or what have you. Or maybe you want to do something similar but for another class. You don't necessarily have to go through the submission in an actual assignment. You can go directly to Canvas Studio. I'm going to leave student view momentarily so that I can show you as a teacher, but it's pretty much the same for you as a student. Um, if you guys scroll down at the bottom of the blue global navigation bar, you guys will see the studio icon. So we're gonna click on it. Uh, I already had it open, so I'm just gonna close it out so I don't have it twice. Now this is gonna show me a library of all the video tutorials that I have created using Canvas Studio. Again, if this is your first time using it, you guys will not see anything. It will be a totally blank library. So similar to what I was doing before, I would go up to the record button and I would select screen capture and wait for that to load. Now the screen capture load uh, loaded correctly. So now I'm able to once again adjust the size of my box. Like let's say if I was going to do a tutorial on how to use Canvas Studio within Canvas Studio or something along those lines. I can go and adjust my box to fit the screen. If you guys were doing a PowerPoint or a Sway, you want to uh, adjust the record box so that it actually covers the entire slideshow. And then you guys would be able to select what you want to actually um, record. So the screen would just be whatever's on your computer. You could select webcam, which would be basically your computer's camera looking at you, or both, which is gonna show similar to what you're seeing in this video where you're seeing my screen recording, but you're also seeing me. You wanna make sure your narration is on. This means that every time I speak, I should be seeing these green bars showing me that the audio is being recorded. And computer audio basically refers to, for example, if you were showing some kind of video within your video, if that makes sense, if you want to be able to hear that audio, you would just toggle it on. And that pretty much um, sums it up. The rest of the directions are the same as I demonstrated earlier. So I can't wait to see your video recordings. I can't wait to see your very first Photopia or Pixlr video tutorial. Hit me up if you have any questions and I will see you guys in class. Peace out.